Hey guys, it's DTX23, and this is a Beyond Good and Evil 2 update. So today we're gonna focus on some of the things that I saw during that private demo. And I think it's good to note that I went in there not really expecting the game to look as polished as it was for this particular stage. There was actually a moment where Gabrielle Schrager was like, are you guys overwhelmed or underwhelmed? I'm kind of worried. And I was like, well, dude, I was in shock at how good it looked. I just didn't expect that. The first thing I wanna talk about is multiplayer because that was one of the things that I was extremely concerned about. I'm not a huge multiplayer gamer. Um, I don't gravitate towards those games usually. It's just something that always worries me when it comes to games that I prefer to play single player. I feel like it's a safe comparison to make that the multiplayer features in this game kind of resemble the ones in Far Cry 5. And I'm saying this because <laughs> I really love the multiplayer features in Far Cry 5, and that's not, that's very unusual for me. Like, let's say you're playing with one other person. That's pretty much all we saw. So let's say you're playing a game with another person and you break away from each other. In Far Cry 5, when you break away from each other, after a certain distance, you're like automatically placed right back together. So it's like, really annoying in that regard. But with Beyond Good and Evil 2, that's completely different and it's not a problem. You can go as far away from your partner as you can possibly imagine. Now, I don't know if there's a certain limit to it yet, but the distance was so remarkable that honestly, if you're scared of multiplayer, don't be. And since we're talking about multiplayer, I feel like the seamlessness of the game is very important to mention. We started off playing in a little temple, or I guess you could call it kind of like a cave. And then we went and started flying around Ganesha City. And then from there, we went to the solar system, way above everything. And everything, every transition, was seamless and that was really impressive. Now I did go over augments in the last video, but some of your questions were geared more towards the physicality of it or the effects or what you actually saw when you played with augments. Those are great questions. Now, the one that I feel like I don't know, impacted me the most was the ability to slow down enemies. It's like an area effect. So, it's centralized to one area and all the enemies that go in that area slow down. The best way that I could describe it, it was like a bubble. Like you see a bubble, a blue bubble that appears and everybody within that bubble slows down. Now the flame-like augment, I don't remember it having that kind of physical effect where it had multiple enemies. So I feel like there will be augments that will be direct to an enemy and others that'll be like an area effect. The one thing I failed to notice though, bad Denise, <laughs> is whether or not the enemies that were taking the wrath of the slowing down augment, whether or not they actually incurred any damage. So that would be something good to ask for the future. When we first started the demo and we were in an area where we were going to experience combat, it was a pretty dark theme within there. I guess, I mean, what we saw really were body parts. <laughs> there were people experimenting on a hybrid and our task was basically to rescue that hybrid. Of course, I'm sure you have an option to just avoid it altogether. In this example, we did rescue the hybrid, and you also have the option of having that hybrid become part of your crew. While we were in Ganesha City, we saw loads of vehicles flying everywhere, but the ones that caught my eye the most were the motorbike and airbuses. We also got to see fighters in action battling it out against a huge police spaceship. It was mentioned that the fighters weren't quite ready for such a battle, suggesting that we'll be able to customize more than just the appearance of our vehicles. Last but not least, IG News, Michel Ancel says he aims for a playable beta by the end of next year. He also says that they're working on making modding a possibility for sure, and they will have a cheaper version of this beautiful Nox statue available for purchase soon. All other questions, sorry I don't have answers for you just yet. Hopefully I will soon, but I will let you know as soon as I know anything. Thanks for watching guys. If you like this video, click like, comment, and subscribe. And for all things BGE and getting involved with the community, go ahead and check out the BGE links for the Discord and Reddit in the YouTube description below. I hang out there as well, so I'll see you there. Bye.